going on right now. Okay, so Mr. Christian came here in order to uh, collect stem cells for future treatment that he needs in order to uh, to recover from his disease. Uh, we want to we are collecting stem cells from his blood. After Mr. Christian got the preparement, and we uh, we succeeded uh, to move his stem cells from the bone marrow to his blood, and this machine is is, is able to collect the cells. So he, at the moment, uh, he's uh, connected to the machine on two lines, one over here and one over here, and the blood is circulating. But in the meantime, he doesn't feel anything, because the same amount of blood that's leaving his right arm over here is coming back on his left side. The machine is separating uh, the cells over here. Those are the white blood cells, and here are the stem cells we need and the machine will automatically go down twice. It's taking a picture of the separation and we have here a camera sitting that is taking 25 even every second on the separation, on this part. And the machine will automatically put the separation where we need it. Here, here it starts already. You see the sign, there's a sign of a separation. At the end of the procedure we will see here in this bag, in this bag over here, uh, about uh, 200 cc of a concentrate of stem cells. What we need in order to get for the next step and to perform a bone marrow transplantation. The whole procedure takes time because the, num the number of cells in the blood is very low. Even after preparation by Nupogain, a growth factor, we want to push the white blood cells in the blood, or the stem cells, Still, only 1% of the cells that are circulating in his blood are stem cells. So in order to collect an effective amount of stem cells, it takes a long time, about three hours, four hours. And then at the end, we will do the quality test, and then we go on for the next step. And you can treat cancer with this? Yes, we can treat cancer.